And we're back to our 36 year old female who's drowned. She's unresponsive, being carried to you, but she's got a pulse. What is the first thing we're gonna do? The very first thing we're gonna do. We already checked for responsiveness because we know she's responsive. We even checked for a pulse. Well, what haven't we done yet? Nothing with airway, nothing with breathing. That's where we're gonna go first. So in order of operations, we're gonna open the airway. Then we would clear the airway. So let's say there was a vomiting or there was blood in the airway or most likely there's gonna be water in the airway. We gotta clear that out a little bit so we can ventilate, right? But don't spend too much time doing that. You wanna make it clear enough to get your first ventilations in. If you wanna get ventilations in as soon as possible and oxygen and all that, but clear it good and then go ahead and make your ventilations. Now, with this case too, we've opened, we've cleared, we gotta insert a adjunct, then we're gonna ventilate with oxygen. Great. So now, well, one team member, let's just say we're on scene here and we just brought the patient down for a second, or maybe we bring it on the stretcher and we're starting to do this as we're moving into the ambulance, right? These are all scenarios depending on where we find the patient, right? One provider can be ventilating while another provider can be exposing and looking for other injuries all at the same time, right? Depending on, many, depending on how many people we have on scene determines how fast we can get some of these things done. And then obviously packaging the patient, keeping them warm, get him to a warm environment. So on a drowning call, keep the ambulance warm, right? We don't want the AC blasting in the back of the ambulance, right? So these are some things I'm thinking about as I'm going through the patient care. And that's how you treat this patient.